A hair serum that promises to make your follicles behave younger. What in the algorithmic hell does that even mean? Kilgore MD's treatment scalp serum claims it can regrow visibly stronger hair by targeting stem cells in your follicles. They're throwing around some serious science words here, but let me break down what's actually happening under your scalp. The star ingredient is Red Ensil, which sounds like something you'd name a pharmaceutical company. It's basically a combination of plant molecules and peptides that supposedly wake up dormant hair follicles. The research shows Red Ensil increased hair density by 17% in three months when tested on 26 men with male pattern baldness. Not earth shattering, but not snake oil either. What caught my attention is that this isn't some basement operation. The company was founded by an actual dermatologist, which explains why they're not making completely unhinged claims about growing a full mane overnight. They position this as part of a two-step system where you use their prevention serum first, then follow with the treatment serum. User reviews paint an interesting picture. People report seeing baby hairs sprouting around their hairline after three months, which aligns with what you'd expect from the clinical timeline. The serum doesn't leave your scalp looking like an oil slick, which is apparently a big win in the hair growth world. But here's where it gets interesting. The company claims their system can reduce hair fall by 30% in two months and stimulate follicle growth by 200%. That second number sounds absolutely nuclear until you realize they're likely measuring cellular activity, not actual visible hair growth. The ingredient list reads like a botanical chemistry experiment. Beyond red and sill, they've packed in circulation boosters and scalp conditioners. It's not just throwing caffeine at your head and hoping for the best. The verdict? This is actually legitimate science, wrapped in premium packaging. If you're dealing with early thinning and have the patience for a months-long timeline, this could be worth investigating. Just don't expect miracles by next Tuesday. If this saved you from buying hope in a bottle, excellent. What other hair growth trends should I investigate next?